Hi guys, welcome to ET Land. Today I want to do a quick video about the latest OS OTA update dropped by INL on the INL Pocket Air. So this is my Pocket Air here and I have already updated it. Um, so what I want to do is to quickly look at how it fixes the error messages that we always get from digital well-being and YouTube and I also want to look a little bit about the key mapping feature which is still a beta version but it is better than nothing we have so i i think it is a little bit too late for this ota update but anyway it's better than nothing so first of all let's take a look at youtube so yeah you can see now i can access my youtube here this is my cat so let's press on it so yeah no problem it is playing and it doesn't get the error message from YouTube well and uh, while I am surfing on YouTube it doesn't get me the digital well-being error as well so that's it's a good sign after exiting I don't see any uh, digital well-being messages so um, I think that works so yeah uh, the next thing we want to look at is the key mapping feature so when we press this eye button uh, so remember if you want to update you can either go to uh, you can either press your eye button and press update option to go to the bottom and find if there's any update or uh, you can simply uh, just see uh, if there's any pop-up after you um, connect to your internet but anyway uh, that is how to update and if you uh, ever update you want to oh oops uh, here is the YouTube error so um, it kind of fixed it but it is not a complete cure I can still surf on YouTube but sometimes it have this kind of error so what I do how I deal with this problem is that I restart it so it will take some time and uh, i will fast forward this part okay now we are back and we can go back to youtube see it's if it is still working so yeah it works we can play a video and then kill it so yes that's how you deal with the error message we are uh, on youtube and uh so far the digital well-being error message is not coming out and uh, let's get back to how to use the key mapping function if we press the inl button we can go to the second column uh controller and here is the uh, toggle for key mapping feature so what we want to do is to get into an app. So now we are going to use uh, Genshin Impact as an example. I have already mapped it so you can see there are something on my screen. You can change the uh, transparency of it. So if you don't want it to be uh, visible, you can change it. Yeah, so let's get into the game first. So I already mapped it, so I can just press anywhere to get into the game. So I have to say that this is still a beta version, so it is not like perfect. And I'm going to show you what is not being perfect. They also mentioned that they are going to put another update for the complete version of key mapping. So now you can see that I can walk around. I can, for example, grab these. But the problem is, you can see it will go to some direction that I never register. I'm not touching it. And uh, that is actually a problem. Although I can still control it. I can jump, I can attack. No problem with those buttons, but 
it is going to go this way. So you may wonder if my uh, controller is having a drift or not. I can show you that is not it. So go to your gamepad tester. We can look at the gamepad. There is no drift. See, it is not registering on this side. Nothing at all. So um, I think that is a problem within that key mapping feature. Another thing I think it is weird is that they haven't translated this. I'm using an English version. Uh, this is uh, to allocate, but they are not translating it. Um, so let's take a look at how you are going to use that key mapping feature anyway. So I'm using Moose Dash as a uh, an, as an example. Uh, I can simply turn on this key mapping feature and then press go to allocate. Let me let's turn down the music first. Um, so what I want to do is after getting into the menu, I will map the keys. Okay, so let's get the mapping point. Uh, here you can move along this uh, little menu here and you want to go to expand So you get a lot of different keys here um, For example, I want to use A and I press A and I put it here So you can change the transparency from here so if I toggle it to 10%, it will be like this. And if it is on 100%, it will be like this. Uh, another thing is that if you want to delete it, you will have to click clear all. Or uh, you can move this here and then you can press uh, this one and then click delete that will help you to delete the key anyway so uh, expand I'm putting my A button here and then I want to make it more transparent then I want to click save so now here is the A button and I can press it so yeah it is working now um, I need another button to press my uh, arrows on left and right and then I also need a button to uh, press this song here. So for example, I can press LB which is this button here for this arrow and then I can press all B so that I can use it on this arrow and then I actually want to change A to here and I want to use A here and I want to use for example this one this is the start button. You can push it here. Okay. So now I want to save it and press A, then press start. So now I see I need another confirm button here. Let's go back and toggle this menu out. Then I want to, for example, change the A here, or I can make it. Oh, where's the A? Okay, let's press the A here. I still think they have to make some changes in their UI because this is a little bit difficult to navigate. But anyway, now we saved it start so.
Okay, so I think this is a little bit too bright. I want to make it not that prominent. So here is how I do it. Okay, that was just a demonstration. Uh, there is another thing I want to show you, which is uh, something I think I now need to uh, fix it. Okay. So let's say I want to map these two buttons. These two buttons are LC and RC. So I have for example, my my RC here, and I'm going to put my LC here. Okay, my RC is disappearing. Okay, RC. Let's put my RC here. Okay, so safe. Well, the problem is that these two buttons are mapped to return and uh, back by default, so when I press it, it will make it be return, which it is not supposed to be like. What is supposed to be like is to be uh, toggling this menu because it is here, so if I press it, it should toggle that menu, but it is not because default by default they have already mapped it to some kind of function and i think this is something i now has to be aware of when they update their key mapping feature because it is not going to work see if i press here it should toll this menu which they are not really setting that signal to uh, the key maps to here and that is another problem with uh, these two keys here because when you are in certain games you want to map these two keys to certain hotkeys but they are not going to work because of that and that is something that uh, the Odin 2 are, is doing very well because uh, the but buttons at the back of them are really freely to be mapped so I think that is the current status we have on the key mapping feature. So we can see that uh, after this OTA update, we have a massive improvement uh, in the usability of this device. We have less errors coming out from YouTube and digital well-being, but sometimes YouTube still crashes and we have to restart this device in order to make it work. And that's pretty much about what I want to talk today and I hope that uh, it will help you a little bit to understand uh, how uh, I know Pocket Air is going on after this update. And I think if you are owning an I know Pocket Air, you should go to update it as soon as possible. That will help you a lot uh, to prevent any problems coming from digital well-being at YouTube. And I hope uh, this video helps you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!